Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be redoing one of my other popular recipes. It's the vanilla cake recipe. So this has been my go-to vanilla cake recipe for anything cake related, cake pops, stacked cakes, cupcakes. As always, everything you're gonna need will be in the description box down below. Now let's get started on this recipe. The ingredients we're gonna need is six ounces of butter, one and a half cups of sugar, three eggs at room temperature, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract, half teaspoon of salt, two and a half cups of flour, and one and a quarter cup of milk. Get your room temperature butter and start softening up. Give it a couple seconds with a mixer, and then we're gonna add in our sugar to this and combine it all well until it's nice and pale and fluffy. Don't forget to scrape your bowl so you get all the ingredients well incorporated. And then we're going to add in one egg at a time, mix well. Then we're going to add in the last two eggs one at a time. Make sure you incorporate it well between each addition. Just give it a couple minutes after each egg to mix this well. Once you've added all the eggs, just whip it up for a few minutes. Scrape your bowl again. Add in your salt, your baking powder. Then just incorporate it all well, make sure all the ingredients are in there. One more scrape, and then we're gonna start adding in our flour and milk. I like to use unbleached all-purpose flour, and I add it in a third at a time. Scrape your bowl again. And then to my milk, I've added my vanilla extract, and I'm gonna do this in two halves. So here's my first half of the liquid. Don't be alarmed if it starts looking like cottage cheese. Just give it a good mix and then add your second portion of your flour and combine that well. Again, don't forget to scrape the bowl. Then we're gonna add that last portion of milk and mix it all well. And finally, that last bit of flour and combine everything well. I've also gotten asked what kind of butter I use. I like to use unsalted butter and make sure your butter, milk, and eggs are all at room temperature. Place that aside and we're gonna prep our pans. So here I'm just gonna add it into a container because I'm not gonna use it right away. So I'll put this in the fridge for a day. You can use it right away or store it in a tight container and use it later. Here I'm just gonna grease my pans and put my parchment paper. You can also preheat the oven at 350 degrees. Grab whatever pan you're gonna be using and prep that. Here I will be using this 4 inch pan since I will be making mini cakes. This batter is enough to fit up to a 9 inch cake pan or a quarter sheet pan. I will also be using the quarter sheet pan since I will be using this recipe for cake pops. Here I'm just adding butter. You can also use whichever spray you prefer. Add your parchment paper. This helps it not stick to the pan and removes it very easily when it's done and cooled. Now it's time to scoop our batter. You can always use a scale to weigh how much batter you use. I just like to use ice cream scoops. So scoop it out and then we're gonna bake these for about 25 to 30 minutes. Depending on how big or how thick you're baking, your time will vary. You can always use a toothpick or a skewer right down the middle of the cake to check if it's ready. And I'm gonna be using the rest of this batter for a sheet pan. Just spread it out evenly. I like to use this batter as well for my cupcakes, cake pops, and of course the traditional layered cakes. It's been my go-to for the last seven years. Of course, there's many others you could use. This one is just my favorite that is quick and easy with a good taste. Once they're done baking, transfer them to a wire rack so that they have plenty of time to completely cool before you decorate. I also have a video where I show you how to crumb coat and assemble a cake. You can check that out if you want more details on how I prep my cakes. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you want to stay updated with all the recipes I share, hit the subscribe button down below. Let me know if you've been using this recipe these last seven years as well. And as always, stay sweet.